Hey everybody, Chris Avance with Wi-Fi Training. We've all heard about the new Wi-Fi 6E standard and this great new 6 gigahertz spectrum. How can we troubleshoot devices that are using this 6 gigahertz spectrum if we see problems? What's the best capture source? We're gonna take a look in this video. All right, so we're gonna look at a very unique lab here because um, I've been doing some testing as I've been building things out. We put Cupertino on this controller here uh, 1712.1 and I've been doing some 6 gigahertz testing right and uh, you know the Apple and Android devices have been working okay with 6 gigahertz in certain configurations but I've got some AX211 chipsets that don't seem to work as well as other AX211 chipsets uh, and so I'm trying to uh, figure that out even on my own personal Dell Precision 5570 uh, which is brand new it is a 6E uh, AX211 chipset but for whatever reason, it doesn't want to connect to OWE or SAE yet. So I don't know if that's the driver, if it's the firmware or what. So I need to get some low level diagnostics on what my client's doing over the air. And that the problem is, is there's not a lot of uh, capture devices out there yet for six gigahertz Wi-Fi, or is there? Or is there? Remember guys, APs are the best capture uh, for over the air captures you can do. Uh, they talk 8 or 10 11 they are super sensitive and they have all the latest tech uh, and radios to support it so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, i've got wireshark running here on my uh, personal machine but before we start we're going to filter on udp port 5555 and we're going to start that because we don't want um we don't want other traffic we just want the interesting traffic from uh, the AP for the sniff remote traffic. So that's setting up in advance our packet capture session on our uh, endpoint here, right? So we need to know our endpoint's IP address, which I've already pulled up here is uh, for our Wireshark endpoints, 10.100.110.159. And then of course we need to jump over and configure one of our access points on our 9800 as a sniffer mode so we can start capturing things, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy and we're going to switch him over AP uh, mode to sniffer mode, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and update and apply. All right. This is one of the modes that does, you'll lose connectivity to the AP for a second whenever you do this, right? And now we'll be able to come in and choose uh, where to send our sniffer mode traffic once it comes back up. Now we could, uh, you may be thinking, well, Chris, what about the embedded wireless capture capabilities of the controller? That would be another thing to get, but basically you're going to be missing out on a lot of the 802.11 frames itself. Uh, now you could do that capture actually from the AP to the controller because remember the AP is talking 8 or 2 11 but there's still a chance I might not get the whole conversation doing that so the embedded capture uh, could be a possibility for us but like using radioactive trace for example that's not going to give us the 8 or 2 11 uh, you know frames that we're looking for because what I'm looking for is to see that my client is doing what it's supposed to do and you know getting the right beacons and or we're trying to respond on the 6 gigahertz radios because right now I don't think it is. But the only way to know is to look at the packets because the packets don't lie, right? So we're waiting for that AP to come back up and it is up now. So we should be able to refresh our radios here. And if you notice, this is the sniffer mode we set up. So now we can go under our, our radio settings. And what I wanna do before I just choose things is I want to look at what's going on here and so here you can see that we're doing a 160 megahertz channel and we are basically uh, you know operating on this 213 you know kind of spectrum here right so what we're gonna do uh, for now 213 160 megahertz wide is we're going to start our capture on that okay so we're gonna come here and we're gonna say that we're doing sniffer, enable sniffing. And 
our sniffer IP is going to be our um, 10 100 110.159. Okay, and this should not even apply right now. But just so, uh, because it's not operating on the channel, right? It is, um, it is listening on the channel. But I just set it that way just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And now I should start seeing some traffic start hitting my uh, Wireshark server here, which I'm starting to see some UDP traffic. So this is good. This is telling me that I've got some traffic coming in. Now, I don't see exactly what that is, but uh, I'll be able to see that in a second. The fact that I'm getting UDP 5555 tells me the AP is sending me good stuff, okay? So now I need to uh, do a couple discoveries to see if I can join that service set. We are going to try to join. Our OWE and our SAE here. And just a couple join events. Again, I want to be somewhat close to the capture AP. These are not too far away. So hopefully I'm getting a couple different sides of the scenario. But I'm basically seeing my client join on five gigahertz and the MBSSID, the multiple BSSID beacon says, hey, there are these six gigahertz APs here. And they're operating on this channel, but for whatever reason, my client is not going to it. And that's what I'm trying to find out. So we've got the uh, capture now. This is how to do that. The last part in this, and we're gonna do the analysis here in a minute, but I'm gonna stop the capture and we're gonna do analyze and decode as, and we're gonna do peak remote. or remote peak, depending on the type of code you got here. There we go. Peak remote, choose okay, and looky there. Now we have all this 802.11 stuff. You can see it's channel 13, uh, the data rate. And if we look up here at the radio information, channel 213. So we are right on the money of what we wanted to see. And that is capturing six gigahertz with a sniffer mode AP on our 9800 controllers. So we'll dive into what it's showing us in a later video, but hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, after you're done with sniffer mode, put the AP back in operational mode so that you can continue serving client data. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.